you're ever pressed for time, these are some of the things that you could actually do ahead of time during the week. Um, make have the bowl ready with the Now we'll do the dog leash. So take my red. Oh. Now, let me explain that. I was rolling that out and I was just flattening it. That means I didn't knead it up, so it's not tacky enough to roll. So if you're just kind of flattening it, that's usually the reason. Okay, so roll this out. When I get about here, what I can do is use this to help even it out. Okay, and then I'm going to flatten it. And then I'm going to use the, um, oh, that's the straight stitching wheel. I want this carved stitching wheel. And I want to make the top, I want to flatten that, widen that a little bit more. And I'll even cut, let me use this uh, straight one here for this. Just kind of cut. A little hole, open that up for the handle. And then let's do some, sh some stitching. So this is just a little uh, quilter's tracing wheel. We'll go all along that side and then we'll go ahead and come all the way down this side. Curve it around. Okay, and then at the end, there would usually be um, a little, I'm actually gonna steal this and make a ring. And then we can paint this ring. We'll just kind of fold this behind it, right where that seam is. So it was just a little cord. Go ahead and put the seam like that. And then we will, um, right here in this area, we could take a decorator tip, or actually we'll just take more red, which is over here. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere. It's all over the place. Okay, so I'm gonna make like it's a little snap button here. Right there. And I'm gonna do a few little decorative pieces over here that we can paint. Okay, let me bring this around the front, add some color down here. So pick that up before it dries out too much. And kind of twist it however you want it to be. Okay, now up here, I'm gonna add some little, these little decorations up here too. That way I can kind of paint those and make it look like he's got some decor on the collar. We'll just do three. If it doesn't stick at this point, then you can put some water behind the fondant that will glue the fondant to the fondant. Okay, so we'll do that there. Then I've got some fun little things here, candy molds. So for the candy molds, I've got the dog bone candy mold and I have a little paw candy mold. So you, what you do is you just wanna melt coating chocolate, which comes in the little discs. And then you just, I usually put it in a parchment bag and squeeze it into the little crevices. Tap it a few times to get the air bubbles out into the freezer for a few minutes just until you can unmask it. Really easy to do. So I've used um, white chocolate here for the bones and then I've used the um, black chocolate for the, the paw prints, which I thought might be cute around it. So those two molds there, obviously you don't have to use them, but I think it's kind of fun to add some of these extra little details. So I'm going to put this here like he's looking at that. and We might even put a little bow on it and maybe put these little ones around here. And we don't have to use all of them. Oh, look, I did. <laughs> and then for the paw prints, we can just kind of put a few around the board. Like he's been walking around. 